fly fishing live stream where we discuss channel updates and we talk fishing and we usually talk about things that you bring up in our live chat so talking about live chat we're going to discuss that we're close and almost to a thousand subscribers where we're going to do a giveaway for a thousand subscribers which would be really cool plus when we do these live streams on Sundays at one you will be able to See on the playback the videos. It'll have a little teeny thing where you can go to super chat where it puts your chat up on top. So if you're watching this in the playback or you're watching it now live, make sure you uh, tell all your friends about us and get our subscriber count up. And if you're already a subscriber, make sure you check out our Patreon page in the link below, which we're going to do more with them. They're updating and they're making that Patreon page cooler all the time. And talking about Patreons, Alfred Bennett and Keith Cool and Daphne Russell are Patreons. Thank you very much. They got us up to $12 a month, which is really cool. And if you get us up to $150 with a month on a Patreons page, no more ads on our videos. You won't have to click buy or skip the video ads or any of that. No more ads. So make sure you check that Patreon page out. Think about subscribing to our Patreon page. This week, I want to start by adding. A, we're going to start this, today's discussion. Look, we got somebody watching. Cool, cool. Uh, come and say hi so we know who you are. And uh, tell me if there's anything you want to discuss on this live stream. The cool thing about having very few people on these live streams while we're doing live is I can answer all your questions. So ask us what you want and we'll answer it if we can. It'd be really cool if you guys could stump me and ask really good questions or give me answers to the questions I have. And one of the things I want to discuss is we were on Pine Creek the other day and we, oh, let me hold on one second. Hey, the guy, the viewers that are watching this live stream right now, I want you to comment and tell us how it is. Is it glitchy? Does it look good to you? I would like to know so that I could fix it or go back out and we come back in if it's glitchier. But anyway, we were on Pine Creek and the fish were rising from 10 o'clock in the morning till we left 8 o'clock. And you know how many fish we caught on a dry fly? Zero. That's right. Zero. Now, I don't know what they were taking. Maybe someone said maybe damsels flies because they were coming all the way out of the water. I mean, full fish out of the water, a foot above the water. So maybe they were trying to, they were taking damsels flies as they're flying by because they're a huge fly, very meaty for the fish. Maybe they were trying to take them as they were flying by. Um, another person said midge uh, mergers, but I tried a pretty small merger, 18, and no luck with that. So, and it didn't change much. We even had a sulfur that was emerging, and I had emerger sulfurs, and we seen them hatching on the surface, and we tied them on with no luck with, we did the dun, and the, just no luck. So, is there any comments to this video now or later on the playback? Uh, what do you think happened? Why do you think you get skunked? Uh. One reason I know is when I was younger, 
I used to get skunked uh, because I didn't have as many flies or I didn't know the knowledge of all the flies, and, which I want to take another moment to say, well, keep watching our videos. Uh, we've had, we haven't been posting as much. Um, an update on that is we went back and we're working Monday through Saturday. I mean, we had given everybody an opportunity to like uh, make sure we keep posting all the time, but not much interest in helping us out. So now we are uh, back to work Monday through Saturday. So the video view posts will be going down until, and that's only till winter. Once it gets cold, off again and back to tying videos. And uh, this year we're going to cover uh, a pick tick. Excuse me. We're going to pick out a fly, and we're going to show you all the different tying of it. So we'll go. Probably the first one we'll do will either be a caddis or I don't know how it is where you are, but it's a blue winged olive here or a caddis is the first ones if trout start rising on that I see a lot of anyway. Big hatches. Uh, we'll cover the nymph, the emerger and the spinner all that we'll do all of the stages of the fly and explain them to you and um i got images to show you uh probably next live stream of different stages of emerges i wasn't prepared uh tracy had off and i worked like i said saturday and then today's sunday and i didn't have anything really what i was going to talk about except for getting skunked which there's lots of reasons that happens. You can run streamers by them. And the thing is, when they were rising all day uh, yesterday, there was no... Oh, no, wait. No, Friday we went fishing, not yesterday. Friday, there was no visible bugs on the water till evening. And then we tied them on and still didn't have no luck. So it was hard for us to tell. I even tried uh, my go-to... In this situation, a real good to go to fly is a Griffiths gnat. Because a lot of times the gnats are mating on the surface and they make a cluster, and that's what a Griffiths gnat represents. And you can't see them hardly on the water. And the fish gorge themselves on them. I tried that. I don't know. What are we streaming for? Hey, uh, if you're watching this right now, why don't you come in and say hi? Tell me who you are. Um, we discussed once we're at 1,000, we'll be able to show that. Here on the screen over here somewhere you'll see everybody's chat while they're talking and you'll be get to the super chat where we won't miss your comment but why don't you make a comment tell me who's watching say come say hi say hey man well I got a question for you so that's what we got to get you more involved in the streaming and saying hi to us yep, somebody went away they didn't want to talk I got my coffee, I got my cigars, alright, got my cigars, I'm ready for a long chat, let's drink some coffee together and talk, fishing, and we got to get more interest in this live stream, so if you're watching this on a replay and you missed it, because, I know, last Sunday we had a problem and we got caddis in my house, you see it? I don't know where they get in from the creek, but we get caddis. I had a stone fly in here this year flying around. I think it's when you open the front door and the light out front of the house. And you open the front door, they're attracted around the light. And I get mayflies in here and caddis in here. Which is pretty cool. I always know what's hatching when I just go out front and look at my light when I come in the door every night. I know exactly what was hatching that day. Yeah, we should, I should start doing is doing a... A live stream we pour for white deer <coughs> uh, if you're watching this in the replay or now let us know we did about starting a white deer a guide service nobody guides white deer and there's fish everywhere man if you come and want to come and hang out with us send me an email all this is in the link below our email address our post office box address send us an email send us um, a letter uh, tell us me when you're coming to PA and we'll take you up here in White Deer right now. It's a great time. If you're coming, let us know. 
And we'll go, we'll try and arrange it that we're fishing with you, man. We'll go up to White Deer and I can show you, man. There's it's just loaded with fish. It's great. We might have to just start a guide service for White Deer so that we can take you guys out. We want to, are we working with a, a Damon Drake and uh, working on doing charity events? And I signed up with a charity event on Penn's Creek. Uh, they're based out of Wiker. I'm going to have to start putting them in my description links so you can check them out. Um, we're getting Tracy signed up and Becca signed up for it this year. Um, we need more women guides and more women taking women out on the creek. I, you know, it's just cooler to have a female and female experience. So we're going to start, they're going to get involved in charity work with us too. So that would be really cool. Mm. One thing I wanted to tell you is we're thinking about updating our uh, video camera equipment. We're going to do that. You can check out, we're not going to start booking anybody for video recording till the spring. Until after we do all our update, we're getting a DSLR camera for video and these zoom lenses where we're able to zoom a mile down the creek and see like you're standing next to us. That means our video quality will go up on this channel too, which is really cool. Um, if you want to get involved with that or anything or help us out with buying equipment, just let me know. Send me an email or something and I'll tell you how you do that. Maybe you can uh, help us buy our equipment and we'll give you a free day, you know. That'd be really cool. You'll get a discount, you know. You're like, hey man, here's a hundred bucks for our video equipment. It's not going to be that cheap for an all-day recording and put it on DVD for you, but... You know, helping us buy our equipment. You might get our free day for 100 bucks. That'd be like 50% or more off. That's really cool. We're going to do video equipment recordings. So when you go fishing, you book us and we record it and put it on DVDs for you. That's really cool. Can't wait to offer this service to all the outfitters in their area. So why do you think we get skunked? Make sure you leave comments down below. I want to know. Since I've been getting more, since I turned 21, 22, I got back into fly fishing. Before that, I was in the military overseas, and I wasn't really involved in fishing when I was there, which really sucks. I wish I was been fishing because I would love to fish Germany for real native browns, but I didn't know all that until I got back, so I missed out on that opportunity. But we did very few got skunk since I've been back into it after that break. Uh, I have very seldom and nowadays with all my tying and learning. See, you know, like, somebody you have to check out is the Orvis podcast. Go on your phone or maybe on the computer. You could go to the Orvis website and go on to the podcast and listen to the podcast. You'll learn so much. I do, and I've been fishing for I am 48, and I started reed fishing, I'll say, since 21. I'd fished at 14, learned to tie when I was a kid. Graduated, went in the military, came back at 21. I've been fishing for years, and I still learn so much from the podcast. I learned from so much from you guys, too, when you make comments in my videos. And, you know, even though they're bad comments, sometimes it makes me pay more attention to my tying videos and stuff and as you can see they get better because of you guys the comments and your involvement in our channel so make sure you stay involved in our channel and make sure you tell your friends so we've been talking more about updates to the channel then we have fly fishing um, like I said I wasn't prepared so we'll probably just make this a really short podcast or a podcast yeah, we're thinking about getting involved in that maybe next year too. I don't know. We'll have to see how everything goes, how the growth of our channel is, and uh, we'd love to put super chat up, but we have to get to a thousand. So if you're rewatching it, or watching this, tell somebody about us, share this video, uh, do what you can to get our subscriber count up. And like I said, we'll be doing a really cool giveaway at a thousand subscribers, which would really be neat. You're gonna want to not want to miss it. So. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching this short little live stream. 
Um, make sure you turn the next Sunday. We'll, we'll be more prepared. Or not next Sunday. Two Sundays from now, we'll be, be more prepared by then. We'll have more to talk about, and we'll do a full hour live stream. So make sure you add your questions that you have for the next week's live stream. So we could do a whole hour. We have no questions from live streams lately. We have nobody chatting with us now to ask us any questions. So make sure you tune in, ask us your questions. And I have to do a shout out to a last live stream. There was a guy that was in there that wanted me to get involved with teaching him and his kid how to fly fish. Now, if you're watching this and you were that person, make sure you comment below. Look at the links below. Add me on Facebook. Get a hold of me. I'm ready to go. Damon Drake has been sending me, talking about sending me flies so that I could take you out. He might even send you a packet of flies for you in your future. You know, you could fish with us, man. Learn next year. Be one of our fly fishing partners and come out and we shoot you on video. And You know, it's great. So, get a hold of me. And I'll see you guys later. You all have a good day. And thanks for the one person that watched that didn't comment, but thank you very much. You guys, keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.